Hey guys, today we're going to do a brief overview of Moto Connect. It's a feature that's like Samsung DeX, and it used to be called Ready For, but now has been renamed to Moto Connect. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the USB-C hub that I'm going to be using. Make sure that you get one that has an HDMI port. Connect the USB-C hub to the Motorola and connect the HDMI cable to the USB-C hub. And the other end will go into your TV or monitor. Now Moto Connect is ready. You should see a screen like this if it's your first time using Moto Connect. After you go through the brief tour, here is the welcome screen. We will navigate Moto Connect using the trackpad that's built into the app. We're going to start with something basic. We're going to change the wallpaper. To right click on the desktop, I just did a two finger tap on the screen of my phone. There is an on screen keyboard and an on screen trackpad. But let's go full office mode. We have this run of the mill mouse and keyboard combo. We'll connect it to the USB hub that is still connected to the phone and the monitor. Let's turn on screen recording so that you can have a better view of Moto Connect. Now let's browse the files on the phone just like you would browse a computer. As you can see, you can organize the windows how you would like. And you can multitask like this. As you can tell, most apps adapt very well to this desktop environment. Similar to a Mac, when you minimize a window, a little dot under it appears. One of my favorite apps is this Fluid app. It's just so satisfying to see the colors swirl. Some apps really have trouble adjusting to the desktop environment. Reddit, as you can see here, works fine until you put it into full screen. Now we'll need to reload the app. Let's check out the other categories in Moto Connect. Using your favorite streaming app and watching your favorite show on any screen is no problem. This is incredibly handy if you don't have a smart TV. Some apps like Netflix do not go into full screen until you resize the window. I don't know whether that's a bug or what. Resizing the window seems to fix the problem. As you can see, Hulu works perfect with this app. That's all the streaming apps I have, but any that you have will show up in that section.
Next we have video chat, but I don't have anyone to chat right now. So we're going to have to cover that at a later date. Last we have the game category. And I don't have any games that will particularly work with this. I have tried a keyboard and mouse with Call of Duty and it doesn't work. Maybe a controller would work though. It seems like the possibilities for Moto Connect are endless. Is there any particular app or function you would like to see? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you around.